and my world imploded, exploded. I don't know what. I have been having the best time ever. So I just r- r- write to it. It's a, it's a, it's an app. You di- download it. On, oh, this one, the one I'm using. You download it to your phone and then you write... Today's episode. How are you doing tomorrow? I'm well, welcome to Stories of My Life. So, uh, okay, let's start. Well, here in Stockholm, Sweden, today it's Monday and the sun is shining. It's afternoon. I have been having the most fantastic time. I started out on the balcony this morning eating that sort of fetouche salad I made yesterday. I'd made a new batch. And I sort of, I, as I was writing, because I thought I would upload some videos. To Instagram and YouTube, I, I realized, wait, what about that chat GPT, which is chat generated pre wait, chat generative pre trained transformer? I never tried it. Martin was sort of, when I met Martin a couple of weeks ago, he was sort of doing stuff, putting questions to it, and it got answered. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if this could help me write my captions. And also helped me to select uh, hashtags for my videos. So I tried. And my world imploded, exploded. I don't know what. I have been having the best time ever. So I just r- r- write to it. It's, a, it's, a, it's an app. You di- download it. On, oh, this one, the one I'm using. You download it to your phone and then you write sort of, write me a hundred, uh, a thousand character description of, and then you write some you know, a little bit about the day and then you add and add 15 appropriate uh, hashtags. And it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm going to show you. So first off, I just thought I would do, you know, today's, the, what's, what I'm going to upload to my YouTube. Oh, that's a weird. Is that something with, wait. This is weird, isn't it? Bah. Anyway, uh, so I thought um, I would just you know, do today. But I had so much fun. I have been doing every video I edited for a week to come. I'm going to show you now. So today I'm going to upload a thing called How I Got Home From My Trip to Erlang, which is a video from last week, last Monday, when I and my friend Ulf left my parents' house at Erlang and we drove up to Stockholm. And (coughs) that's about it. We went to Ikea, we did stuff. And I wrote to, well, I'm going to do this the right way. Wait, this is all I wrote. Give me a YouTube description that are about 2,100 characters long about two gay friends who leave the Swedish island Erland, cross the great Erlandsbrun bridge and drive home to Stockholm. How a mother dances the samba and they stop at a great shopping centre for snacks and gifts, visit Ikea and eat a vegan burger and add 15 hashtags. Okay, this is what came out. I guess I had to do this in batches because, you know... Title, A Gay Road Trip to Remember, Exploring Erland, Crossing Erland's Brun, and Embracing Stockholm, Friendship, Dance, and Culinary Delights. That, yeah, that's the title. So, here's the description. Get ready to join us on an extraordinary journey of two great friends embark on a road trip filled with laughter, adventure and forgettable experiences. Leaving behind the captivating Swedish island of Erland, we set our sights on crossing the magnificent Erlandsbrun Bridge, connecting us to the vibrant city of Stockholm. This video captures the essence of friendship, dance, culinary delights and the joy of exploring new places together. It goes on. As the sun rises over Erland, we bid farewell to its picturesque landscapes and sandy beaches, igniting our senses of adventure. The Erland's Bloom Bridge stretches before us, symbolizing the path of exciting discoveries and new beginnings. Our road trip takes an unexpected twist when we encounter a group of street performers, among them a spirited mother dancing the samba. <laughs> Mesmerised by her exuberance and infectious rhythm, we are drawn into joyful celebration of movement. Without hesitation, we join in, embracing the freedom of expression and the power of dance to unite people from all walks of life. It goes on. 
Continuing our, year, our journey, we take a delightful stop at a bustling shopping centre. This vibrant hub offers an array of stores filled with tempting snacks and unique gifts. We indulged in scrumptious treats and browsed through the diverse sections, seeking mementos to remember our road trip and to share with the loved ones. The laughter, camaraderie and warm interactions with locals create a tapestry of cherished moments. No road trip would be complete without a visit to the iconic Swedish furniture store IKEA. As we navigate through its sprawling showrooms, we marvel at the innovative designs and functional decor that inspire both practicality and creativity. Our exploration leads us to the IKEA restaurant where we discover a delightful surprise, a mouth-watering vegan burger. We didn't eat that, but that captures the essence of flavour and sustainability. We eat, with each bite, we savour the harmonious blend of its texture, of seasoning, celebrating the growing availability of plant-based options and the positive impact on our health and the environment, it goes on. As we approach the vibrant cityscape of Stockholm, a sense of anticipation fills the air. We reflect on the transformative power of friendship, the liberation found in dance and joy of discovering the new culinary experiences. Our hearts are filled with gratitude for the mem memories and connections we forged along the way. Join us in this enchanting road trip where friendship, dance, culinary delights and the open road intertwine. Like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more heartwarming journeys, inspira inspiring stories and the celebration of love and diversity. I mean, what? It's fantastic. I would want to watch this and I know what it's about. Talk about overselling it. <laughs> anyway, these are the hashtags which are great. Hashtag gay road trip, hey, hashtag friendship journey, hashtag Erland to Stockholm, hashtag road trip adventure, hashtag Swedish landscape. I would never be able to come up with these and there are more, but I'm I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. Can't talk now, must, I must finish some more, but. Okay, so by the way, I am in um, in a week, Monday in a week, I'm starting a new project. So uh, I'm trying to sort of get everything done here because when we start, it will be a mountainous sort of, of fun, but also a lot of work. So today I was supposed to clean out my um, walk-in wardrobe, but this chat GPT is so much more fun. Yeah, this is a nice background, isn't it? Yeah. Really great. Oh, disappeared. Never to come back. Oh, okay, so I'm done with that. I could have gone on. I've been sitting there five hours. I've been sitting on my stool for five hours, writing stuff and enjoying it and uh, having a laughing and being amazed. I, I, I And I sort of uploaded all the videos and written uh, descriptions or letting IDT, no GDPP, chat, keep, GPT, can't even remember the name of it. That's gratitude for you. Uh, you know, giving it some sort of information and sort of getting that written, it's fantastic. I've been laughing because, especially that part where my sort of, <laughs> I wrote that my mama was, my, my mother was dancing the samba and they sort of, they <laughs> he wrote about this exotic woman who was dancing in the village. But anyway, it made me do what I had to do. <laughs> and laugh. So now I need to go grocery shopping since it's Monday. So, and I also need to buy what? Wait, what, what? Rum. I need to buy rum. Because tonight I'm making, it's all about Magnus. Yeah, it's a cocktail that he invented. I need Sprite. And rum. I am in such a great mood. I should have my face on a t-shirt or on a poster or in the encyclopedia under the heading happy. I love chat GPT, whatever it is called. But now to the business at hand, rum and Sprite and food. Note to self, I mustn't forget Sprite or the equivalent of Sprite. Guess who almost forgot Sprite or the equivalent of that. I got, I got two things to buy and I forgot one of them, almost. 
People, here I am with um, Magnus, and he's going to tell me the ingredients too. Everybody's talking about Magnus. Yes. Oh yeah, it was the, it was uh, I used, but it depends on on what kind of glass you have, or, or or if you have a bigger because if you have a bigger glass, then you might increase everything. Okay. Uh, but I used for this glass, I used uh, four centiliters of rum, yep. golden rum. Yep. And then sort of, and then a lot of ice in, and sort of like maybe two and a half centiliters, uh, uh, deciliters of uh, fruit soda. Yep, I got that. Lemonade. And then half, uh, a, a little bit more than, than a quarter of lime. Maybe maybe I should use maybe all, a half a lime. Half a lime. Yeah, I think because I, yesterday I, I, I didn't use so much, but I think uh, we'll try that today. Here we go. Here's mine. It's all about Magnus. There is Magnus, all about Magnus. Let's. Cheers. Up yours. Up yours. This is a reaction shot of me drinking. It's all about Magnus for the very first time. For the very first time. <laughs> this was really good. I know. Okay, this is, yeah, this is, this is, this is, yeah. Dangerously good. Yeah, and this, I think this is, a, this is a classic. It's, it's, okay, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Make it. And, and uh, its own taste, its yeah. own flavor. Yeah, it is, it's, yeah. it's I, can't, so, so, I can't really sort of, I don't know what to say. Maybe I sort of, I can taste the, but I, I wouldn't be sure that it's rum, but I sort of can taste, it's in the back of my throat, mm -hmm. in the back of the, the mouth, something. Oh, this is really good. Okay, people can't talk, must drink. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.